Hey, welcome back to What's Learning. What are we doing today? Well, today we're learning how to cut PVC pipe and how to glue it together with cement. Uh, a lot of times you have projects around the house where you're doing either plumbing or maybe you're just doing like a building something for a kid science project. But anyway, PVC pipe is pretty easy to work with. There's just a few things you, you got to kind of know. So I'm going to show you how to do it. We're going to first, we're going to cut this in half. What I'm using is I'm actually running this underneath this cement that they're getting ready to pour. So this will sit here, one side will come out that side, one side will come out this side, and they'll pour the cement, it'll just sit there, and then whenever I wanna run my drip irrigation system through it, I've got access to go underneath the cement without having to dig a hole. This, the cement will sit on top of this, and it'll just sit there. That way it won't roar underneath and, and, and crack, it'll just be there. But I'm gonna show you how to work with PVC in case you're going to do something. One of the easy things that a lot of people do is they have a sump pump that comes out of their house and that pipe needs to be extended and you're gonna to need to work with PVC either to put a elbow on it so it shoots down into the ground and to run away from the house. Uh, it's one of the common things that people will use PVC and they, they've never used it before. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So I've got this marked. This is a hacksaw with a hacksaw blade. And you can cut metal with this, but you can also cut um, PVC with it. PVC isn't hard to cut. You just, you can probably cut it with any saw, really a hot knife, maybe even a mat knife if you're real persistent. but. Like I said, you just kind of, hacksaw works pretty quick on it, a grinder would too. Well, I didn't really cut that that straight, but what you're gonna be left with is two, two ends of it that look like this. You can take sandpaper and knock those burrs off. You know, if you're using it for drinking water, uh, you'd probably obviously want to get all those out. Mine's nothing fancy. Mine's just going to be running drip irrigation system through it. All right, so then this is the elbow that I'm going to attach it to. And this product, leave a link in the description, but you can get it at Lowe's. Uh, Woodard Mercantile probably has it. Anywhere they have plumbing supply. The pink, I mean the, the pink, the purple, can't read the color, is the primer. So it's kind of the cleaner. And you'll go around the pipe with the cleaner, the purple, and then you'll come back when that's kind of set a little bit. And with the orange, that's the cement that's gonna bind them together. So purple to clean, and then orange to bind them together. All right, so we're simply going to open the purple. We'll put the two good sides in there. So you just kind of go around it. You, I could do all this at once, but I'm just going to kind of do it in pieces so you can see. You just want to kind of get it around there, wherever the cement is going to go. All right, so that's the, that's the cleaner. You always want to clean your PVC. And then this is the cement. And it's orange. So we're gonna go around here. Boom. Then we're gonna go around here. And once we put this in there, you don't have long and this will be tight and waterproof. So boom. Push them together, twist it a little. You want to hold it because it's going to want to separate and in a short amount of time that baby is not moving anywhere you can come back and clean that off if you want but i mean mine's just going underground it doesn't really matter so now i'm gonna do the other side clean it in there. So I gotta clean this. Yeah, we're gonna do this side. Clean that. Get around it with the orange. 
your stuff. Make sure you get it all across there. And then, boom, put this in. Twist it, make sure it's nice and tight. <clears throat> and then literally within 15 seconds, 10 seconds, that baby is not going anywhere. So we'll put this under the concrete. Concrete will be poured on top. And then we can run our uh, irrigation pipe through it or cut it off and then run our irrigation pipe through it either way. But we've got plenty of pipe there that they can stick under the concrete. All right, that is how you put together PZ, PVC pipe with uh, cleaner and glue. You can see it is they're not moving. This is just gonna sit like this. I've got a planting bed over here. There's gonna be concrete and I've got a planting bed over here. I'll come back and cut this off if I need to, if it's too long. But it's gonna set like this on the corner. There's a wing wall coming right here too. And then I'll just feed my irrigation through here and out the other side if I need to. Or if you wanna run lights, any kind of thing you're running under concrete. Or like I said, if, you, if you've got a pipe coming out of your house for your sump pump and you wanna add an attachment to it, uh, there's other ones that just go straight. There's all different kinds of attachments you can get, 90s, 60s, uh, just couplings to make it go straight. Or if you also want to take it from two inch pipe like this is down to one inch, uh, they have all those as well. So anyway, that's how you do it. Thanks for watching.